What's up, YouTube? Thanks for watching another episode of Chris Glides. Today, I'm gonna to be removing the factory 5x7 speakers out of the Harley Davidson CBO for the 2023 models. They come with the 5x7, and I'll be putting in the 6x9s. And um, hey, let's do it together. Here we go. So I've opened up my speaker lids and just kind of looked at what we have here. And this is where the uh, five, by, five by seven is. And they said that it's an easy plug and play. So I'm gonna take out these four screws first and um, I'll go ahead and remove those and come right back. And for the video, I'm using a T20, T20. All right, so on that last screw, go ahead and put your hand behind here because that last screw is gonna remove or make the speaker cover drop like that. So sit it in a safe place. And uh, from there, go ahead and, um, well, I'm gonna leave that kind of halfway screwed in. It'll just fall into my saddlebag. So at that point, the uh, speaker's right here. And um, so all I have to do is remove these four and it will come out and I have already unconnected the, uh, the wires right here by just unplugging them. So I'll close this back. Go ahead and move on to the top. And um, let me see if this is the same. Yep, still the same size. So I'll take these out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'll remove the four screws around the outer edge. Make sure you're not doing this with one hand because one hand is unstable. And you don't want to slide and then dig your screw, your uh, screwdriver or your T20 screwdriver into your speaker. So just use two hands, take your time. And power tools are always going to be too much for um, doing things like this. So after that, it just comes out. And so I'll do the other side and then I'll go over to the box, cut the box open for you guys, and then we'll drop the new ones in. So... Um, I'll probably, maybe I'll put these inside of Grady. How about that? So I'm gonna just set these over here and uh, I'm gonna do the other side and come right back. So I already have the grill cover off on this other side. And um, with these unplugging them, you just gotta wiggle them a little bit back and forth to, uh, to get them to come out. They're on there tight like they're supposed to, but they just come straight out like that. All right, so the last one, I'm using one hand, like I said, not to do, but I'm just trying to show you. I had already had it mostly out. All right, so that comes out. This comes up and out. So now what we'll do is go over here. I'll show you how this box comes. Sneak preview of uh, what's all to come. <laughs> So inside the box here, they have a set of instructions, but no one follows instructions when you can watch YouTube, right? You have your instructions, which is uh, pretty self-explanatory. It says a uh, two screw level, but uh, two wrench level, I'm sorry. And um, so you have your front and open this up. And um, so all your instructions here within three pages, okay? So one thing to note is that once you have these installed in your bike, you're gonna need to take it to the dealership so that they can um, send a message through your computer to let them know that, to let the computer know that you have a level three um, sound upgrade for your rear speakers. And um, as you can see here, I'm having some trouble, so hold on. All I need is a third hand, or as one of my subscribers keeps telling me to get a tripod, but then it wouldn't be that big of, a, of an adventure, would it? All right, so bigger speaker. I'll put these next to each other so you can see. Larger speaker, pardon my English, larger magnet. larger magnet and a uh, little bit of difference not too much but I mean it's whatever it's supposed to be louder so that's why we're doing this right all right so basically it just drops in like they said drops in and what this does is it points up towards the rider ear 
is what they're talking about so that you can hear the uh, speakers a little bit more. Those are the same way. They still point towards the uh, rider, but um, these uh, accept a lot more. Um, turn this. These accept a lot more um, watts or volts or whatever you want to call it. And um, they play louder. Okay, so, all right. So let me get these bolted in, screw it in, and I'll be back. All right, you saw me turning this thing. Um, I, I'm sorry I did that for the video. I just saw this extra hole here and it threw me off, but all the other holes line up. So when I lift this up, you do see that there's another hole that is already um, slotted right there. And this hole is actually for, these holes are actually for the speaker grills. So it just threw me for a loop. But just remember that these are gonna go towards the rider and um, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna put these on, plug them in, put the covers back on, and we should be done. I also just wanted to show you side by side that these both fit. This is the six by nine. This is the uh, five by eight or five by seven that I removed. And they fit in the same hole. Same size, bigger magnet, but what, where it's different is the distance here and there is different. This is further out, even though it's in the same fitting. And then this is larger in diameter. So, I mean, apples and oranges, but I'm wondering now if uh, I was to um, ask for that, uh, sound, not sound mod, but if I was to um, go to the dealer and ask them to flash the, uh, the radio with the um, five by eights, what would actually happen? Um, but, you know, hey, this is a, I don't know what, $500, $600 update, upgrade. And, um, you know, I guess, man, it's, it's uh, you know, it is what it is. So now you kind of lose space in your bag too by putting this larger magnet speaker in. So um, all that for sound, um, is it gonna be worth it? You know, could be, maybe not, but I've decided to do it, so. And uh, so now the other thing too is you're gonna have, um, instead of 17 pounds, it changed, we put the warning signs on there that say 15. I'm pretty sure y'all abide by that, right? <laughs> So that last screw was in. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, get my wires, plug those back in. And um, let's see. Yeah, they're a different size, so I can't see which one's my small one. The small one's on this far side for me on this one. Just slides right in like that. So it's in, it's on, it's connected. Last thing you want to do is put your warning stickers on. And um, you could check the sound, but like I said, you're going to have to have these flashed at your local dealership and um, to get the maximum uh, capability of these speakers. The amps are internal and everything is controlled through the new. Uh, module up there. So we already know that if I play this music on YouTube, we're going to get a copyright hit. So I'm not going to do that. But um, I will let you know how they sound as soon as I get this flash. I'm putting it in today for its first service. I'm gonna add a few more parts on. And after I add the other parts that I'm gonna put on, then I'm gonna just put it in for its first service. I um, Stay tuned for some more videos. This was just a quick video on how to change out the speakers, the five by seven or five by whatever size they are. Change out the original speakers with the six by nines. Um, pretty easy. It would have probably took me, I don't know, maybe 15 to 30 minutes if I wasn't trying to record and do work with one hand. <laughs> so again, I know uh, one of the subscribers said get a tripod, get a tripod. Tripods are boring, man. 
But anyway, see you guys next time. I'm about to do a few more installs and um, please watch those videos also. Thanks. All right, all right. I could at least tell you this. Without the flash or whatever it's called, I did hear an improvement. Um, I did hear way more bass and it is way more louder. So um, I can't imagine how much louder it's gonna be when they flash it or whatever they do to it. But even if I didn't get them to do anything, I'm satisfied with the change so far. It was worth it. It is uh, a lot deeper bass and thump and, um, and, and louder. So yep, go ahead, do it.